Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today is a dance photo shoot that I did with a good friend of mine, Monica. She's a ballet dancer in the Sacramento area. I wanted to do something a little different for me because I've done a lot of ballet photo shoots before, but I was inspired by this amazing photographer on YouTube from France. His uh, YouTube page is called HK Visuals. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, he works with these amazing flowing fabrics with these awesome dancers. And I wanted to do something very similar. He, he really inspired me to try something different. So me and Monica, we found this incredible garage space that has all these different graffiti murals behind on the, uh, for different backdrops and we just kind of went to it. Uh, it was definitely a fun challenge for me especially since I've never worked with a lot of flowing fabrics before and it was also a good challenge for me because I've never really composited a lot of images together which I did with this one which is pretty awesome with the flowing fabrics I was able to move them around in Photoshop and then make them multiply and look different for you. So without further ado check out the video and then let me know what you think. right into it you can see that uh, the fabric that we have is actually one of those aerial silks that you use for the aerialists you know how they climb up there and they do the little tricks and stuff in there and so this fabric was super long I only had one assistant today so what we did is we tied the silk around her in one particular spot um, and then we would just throw the fabric in the air a couple times and then pick the best one in post and then alter it from there and then also because I took a shot of the backdrop by itself without anybody I'm able to Photoshop that excess fabric that's laying on the ground out of the image into the final product that we have. My setup is super simple. I have the Z6 on a 24 to 70 lens on a tripod on the ground and then I have the AD600 with a, a medium sized octobox on the camera left. I think the settings were about 1 30th or 1 32nd power and then I would just uh, put it on continual flash so that it would strobe every time that I hit the camera. After I was happy with the shot from one side, we flipped the fabric around as you can see here. And then uh, I just had my buddy throwing the fabric up in the air the different direction. And with some of these, um, we had to do it like four or five times while she's hitting the post just so that I'd be able to capture the best shot possible for all of these. Um, the fabric flows so freely and uh, so it's kind of hard to get the perfect shot every time. Once you do it a few times, you really get the hang of the how the fabric flows and how many shots you need to take. And then you just bring them all into post, uh, like Photoshop, that's what I did, and just kind of combined the images and then brushed out using different mask layers and everything like that to create your final image for each scene like you're going to see right now. The second setup was completely the same as far as my lighting and my settings on the camera and on the strobe. We just turned around and faced the other mural and you can definitely see Beetlejuice behind us photobombing the entire shot. Um, it, it actually looked pretty interesting or funny in the photos themselves so I just decided to kind of keep them in. But same concept, we switched the fabric and we used something shorter. Uh, we had like a teal looking fabric that we wanted to use and uh, we just did the same thing with shooting one side and then flipping over and then shooting the other side. At this point we felt we really dialed in our technique and so the shoot just kind of flowed real easily. Uh, we were able to just do it over and over, get multiple shots, switch sides, and then just uh, move on to the next one. It, it just became one of those things where we were just flowing and I loved it and once you reach that point you know that you're just going to get great images. Last setup here, we turn back around to the other uh, wall with the kind of like a sheer black curtain that we were using. And uh, we just got some great shots from this one too. Mm -hmm. 
there are a lot of other photos that we took in this series that um, didn't make it into the video. You can definitely check them out in the links that are in the description below to the blog as well. Um, if anybody's interested, I might make a how I edited this video uh, just to kind of show you like what I did in Photoshop, you know, with the masking and the layering and editing, editing out things like my buddy Steven and the extra fabrics and stuff like that. So if you're interested, just uh, let me know in the comments below. So that was the video. What do you guys think? Uh, it was definitely fun. Uh, I learned a lot as far as the how to composite an image as well as how to compose the shot within the, the situation itself. I was using the tripod that I have to make sure that my images look the same so that the only thing that really changed would be Monica when she was doing the poses as well as the fabric flowing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Constructive criticisms, always welcome. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification as well. That way you get notifications when I post new videos, which I'm very excited to do. So uh, otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.